All right, it's a different day. It's fine, I guess, but I still can't get my van going. So I'm going to be teaching sharpening out of the machine shop in the back. I'm Mike the Sharpener. So we've got Grandma's Bypass Pruners today. These are old and well built. They're not even very dull, and they're old. So this was, they were put up somewhere. And uh, look at the engineering, though. It's such a beautiful system. Everything's milled, or I don't know if it's forged. I guess it's forged. Um, it's just hard steel. It's not very oxidized, not very rusty. The Look at that spring to hold it shut. It's, it's like perfect. It closes. It holds it shut. It's built to kind of snap into place. The other spring is just like a cool little spring that's got its little arms to be holding it in place and uh yeah it's beautiful look at that lock to, to lock the nut where you want you got like two sets of, of screws and normally this anvil part i call it the anvil but this part here is is flat and this one's semi sharp so i'm going to leave that like that but i'm going to go ahead and sharpen these without without even taking them apart i'm just going to sharpen them and i'm probably going to over sharpen them i guess i I'm just going to go through this because I like them just razor sharp anyway, but that's not quite right. But here we're going to go with the regular, I'm going to try to stay with the plane that was on there, the same angle and everything, and just remove material to where I get a nice burr. That's what I'm always looking for is a nice burr all the way across the item so I know that I've ground all the way to the edge. And you see, I've kind of kept the same plane as the old one. And uh, But it's all freshly ground metal now, but I can feel that burr is there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and do the chromium oxide. I don't show you, but I'm using the chromium oxide rouge. And I'm just going to polish the burr off from this one side, which is the most... I mean, it, it is making it like a razor. I'm not going to knock it back from the back side. I'm just going to polish the burr from this side till it's gone. And then the thing is going to be sharper than it should be, but it's the way I like it. I go ahead and clean off some of that rouge, like it really even matters with pruners, I guess, you know. Well, I guess you want to take good care and keep them clean for your plants. You don't want to give them any weird disease. But uh, look at how these things cut. This is ridiculous. Anyway, hey, that's how I do it, if you want that. Otherwise, if somebody wanted it different, I wouldn't. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>